Hello there, I'm Mafia and I'm back with some more Computercraft. Today I'll be finishing the game Minetrooper, and unlike last time I actually did all the coding in advance just so that I can show you the whole thing and give you all the detail. Now then, uh, just as a little indication, uh, here's the code where it was last time. So it started at init right there and stopped at display right here. And I basically added a whole bunch of, co uh, of code all around. And so let's get started. Look, first thing we do, we declare a variable called cont game and send it to true. This is a variable which will be true until you want to exit the program. And to do so, you have a while loop. So while cont game is true, do while well the whole program is all repeat until you decide you want to quit the game. Next, we have set background color to black. That's um, to avoid any problems when you clear the screen and w uh, yeah because if you don't put that sometimes you'll end up with a blue screen and uh, nah, it's not quite what you want so it will clear the screen and start the game with init and it's in at display if we look back down we have how much of line of code it will set the, co the background color to black and um, that's to avoid some more display problems it will set the cursor position, position to 1 1 and then it will say if you won or lost. So, just a sec. If you won, it will it will check. It will use a function check end. And if check end is true, that means you won. If not, you lost. And it will display a message accordingly. After it will sleep for two seconds, that's just so that it will you see the message, just you won or you lost, for two seconds. Then it will erase the screen and. Uh, do some more stuff. So right after it declares a new variable choice and choice is where you will decide whether you want to continue the game or quit the game. And basically I use a repeat loop and it will repeat until choice is equal to a string 1 or string 2. To do so I do inside the loop term dot clear term dot set cursor position 1 1 it will display three messages what now option 1 play again, option 2 quit and then it will use read to actually get a message from the user and finally it will check if the choice is 2 and if it is 2 it will set cont game to false therefore exit the loop and the two last lines I have to show term.clear and term.setposition11 term set one one. that's just to um, get the OS back to its original position or you'll see anyway when I show you guys. So MS, this is a program. Let's see if I can actually win the game. But <laughs> dang it, that's the first fail. Don't mind. It's always quite hard when all the mines are in one specific zone because you have to be way more careful. So let's play again. I have a bad feeling about this one. Okay, this is gonna be tricky. I would bet the mine is here. Um hmm. There's nothing there, there's something there. I'm really terrible at in Minesweeper. I am pretty slow in thinking uh, of this kind of stuff. It's um, just why I'm bad at world games like that, but uh, yeah, well, there's nothing I can do about it. And let us see, it would be so cool if I actually managed to, wa to win the game. But I suppose I just can't have everything. I would bet there's a mine right here. Oh cool, that was awesome. It's probably like a little bug right here because it wasn't quite supposed to display the whole area over there. Uh, I guess that's no big deal though. It's just a minor bug. And let's see. I guess I can erase those. So how many mines have I found so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That means there are three left. Probably two more left, if that's the eighth mine. Let us see. There's no one here, nine. Oh, I'm getting really close, that's exciting. And this is the moment where I fail. <laughs> nope, oh yes, I won, that's so awesome. I tried to recall that uh, previously and I would keep failing. It took me probably ten minutes before winning. And uh, there I get my second, well, take two, and there I go, I just 
ace the game in two time two or two goes. Oh well. Um, well, I guess this will be pretty much all for today. So hope you enjoyed. If you did, please take the time to like, come subscribe if you have any suggestions, games you want me to make. Let me know in the comment section. And since this is the end, I'll be saying goodbye and see you next time.